So what if your application is B2B or built for organizations only, and you want to force new users to have an active organizations, and if they don't, either create one or join into an existing one. This is building on top of the overview we had in the previous videos on the clerk organizations, which is a way to build multi-tenancy into your applications. If you haven't watched those videos, I'm going to link it in the description and somewhere in the card so you can have a look at that. We also built a multi-tenant task tracker in the previous video where it shows the different components that you can use and the architecture design. We went beyond authentication and actually used databases there as well. So also linked in the description. But in this video, we're just focusing on a type of application where organization is the center of your app. Basically, we want to disable their personal accounts and force them into creating an organization if that makes sense. Now, the first step is to hide personal accounts from our UI components. Let me show you what I mean. So inside of our app, if I go ahead and sign in, we have this drop-in UI component from Clerk. It's called Organization Switcher, which I'm going to show you in the code for a second. But here, if, as you can see, I see my personal account, and because I don't have any organization created, I see my personal account. So what we want to do is to disable this personal account, first of all, inside of our UI components, and secondly, force the user to go ahead and actually join a, an organization or create one if they don't have any. So back in the code, let me show you where this is coming from. So inside of our layout, we had this header component where we plugged in our organization switcher once the user is signed in. So if you're using this signed in control component, to show the user button and organization switcher. So the user button is your regular user button and the organization switcher is what encompasses all the organization flows from creating and inviting members, the organization profile and whatnot. If you're not comfortable with this component, watch the first video, I go, um, I dive deeper into the different UI components that you have when working with organizations. So to hide personal accounts from our UI component, for example, the organization list or the organization switcher in, in our case, you could just pass this prop that says hide personal true. So let's go here and say hide personal and then say true. So let's go back to our app and you can see the personal is now gone. There's nothing active and it just prompts me to create an organization. But on top of this prompt here or this option here, we want to also set a logic inside of our app to detect if there is any active organizations, and if not, to redirect the users to a page that allows them to create one. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So before we implement that, which we're going to do through Clark Middleware, I'm going to talk about something else, and that's detecting and setting an active organizations and different ways that you can do it. Well, first of all, to detect if there is any active organization, you can use the org ID that return, that's returned from the auth object. So on the auth object that you get back um, calling the auth function service side, you can check the org ID. Again, we've talked about this before. If there is any org ID, it means that the user has an active organization. And if this is null, it means that there is no active organization. Now, there are different ways that you can set an active organization. You could use the set active that's returned from your use organization list hook, which is a client component. So you can have this hook or component that actually maybe looks at the URL and sets an active organization. So here, if you're reading um, the search params from the URL, if you want to have your organization slug or ID up in the URL, you don't need to necessarily have this URL structure for your organizations. But if it is something that's already in your app, you could use that to set the active organization. And then by having this component inside of the layout of any page that requires to have an active organization, it's going to look up to the search parameters in the URL plug in the slug of the organization or the ID of the org and then sync or set that as the active one. Now, what we want to do beyond that is to actually limit access to users that only have an active organization. And we're going to do this inside 
our clerk middleware. You can also do this with the app router layout for any subsection of your app that requires this feature. So let's say our entire app is okay, but anybody who wants to go to our dashboard needs to be a part of an organization. So you can then have the specific app layout that affects the dashboard path and any sub path, or you can implement it inside of Clark Middleware, again, for your entire app or any sub path. So if you're going to use Clark Middleware because it just makes it very easy, Clark Middleware runs before the request is sent back to the user, so you can check the auth, um, the session, and see if the user is part of any active organizations. If they're not, you can just redirect them back to creating one or joining one. So we're going to um, have this for our entire application. Again, there is an example here where it shows you if you were to implement this for a specific path, such as the dashboard. But now we're going to implement it for our entire app. So if you logged in to our website, you have to be selecting an organization right off the bat. So let's copy this, and I'm going to explain what this is. So let's go to Clark Middleware, and let's replace what we have here. Let's import the next response. Now, what are we doing here? So we're saying we're getting the auth object by calling the auth function. And here there is user ID that shows the user is logged in and org ID, which is when the user has an active organization. So we are saying if there's user ID, so the user is logged in, but there is no org ID, and we are not on this path, org selection, which is a page we're going to create that allows them to actually select or create an organization, we're going to just redirect them back to this page, org selection. We're also reading the search parameters and attaching the search parameters. So if you have any redirect URL, you can just use it here to re redirect them back to the page that they were trying to access in the beginning. So we basically redirect them back to this page. So we need to create that page as well. But this is what we're doing inside of our middleware to limit the access to our entire app uh, for only people who have active organizations. So the second step, as I just mentioned, is to create this org selection page. So let's go ahead and create this page. So I'm going to go to the app router and let's say org selection for slash page.tsx. Let's copy some code. So what are we doing here? We're using the search parameters to read any redirect URL that was passed into this page. And basically, we're just rendering our organization list component. This is another dropping component from Clerk that makes it easy to work with organizations. We're also setting the height personal to true. And after they're creating or joining a an organization, we can redirect them back to the re redirect URL that was in the search parameters. That was the original URL that the user was in. So inside of our middle where we read this search parameters. So if there was anything there, we're just going to capture that also pass it to this component okay so these two changes let me go ahead and actually delete the user that we have here so let's delete this user let's go back to our app and let's just refresh so if you're not signed in if I go and sign in now it redirects me back to org selection page that we just created and here we are just rendering the organization list component but because we don't have any organizations it just prompts us to create one so let's go ahead and create one so let's call this broker hub and create organization you can go ahead and invite new members i'm going to skip this and now i'm automatically part of this i don't see my personal account and now this is set as the active organization and because it is because now i have an active organization i can see the entire app Again, you can have this for the entire app or a specific path like the dashboard of your app to enforce that people have to have an organization active to be able to access that path. Again, this is useful if your app is meant for organizations, so users cannot have personal accounts. They have to be part of an org or a team space or a workspace, whatever you want to call it, uh, and this is going to enforce that functionality. Now, going back to the documentation, I just want to mention that you can do the same thing using the app router layout as well. So down um, as deep as you want in your subpaths or for your entire app, you can create a layout where you're just looking if there is any org ID. And if there is in the layout, you're just re rendering the children so you give them access to the 
page that they were trying to see. If not, you're just going to show um, another page or component that's just basically the organization list. So there are two different ways to do it, the app router layout or the middleware, which in my case, in my opinion, is easier to do. And that about makes it a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, like always, drop them down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.